Although most people think it would be easy, beating a vegan in a debate is challenging. There are only three ways to do it. The first two are by attacking the foundations upon which the vegan position rests. The first foundation is that humans can be healthy on a vegan diet, and attacking this is the route most people take. Even though scientific consensus shows that vegan diets are healthy, many people refuse to acknowledge this reality. If the vegan doesn't know much about nutrition, it's easy to throw out some unscientific claims and hope that's enough to trick the audience. It usually is. The other, less common route is to attack the second vegan foundation, that animals are sentient individuals who don't want to suffer and feel pain. It shouldn't be on me to prove that animals do feel pain before we say we can do whatever we like to them. I think it should be mm -hmm. on you to prove that they can't before we start doing that. You know well, what I mean? Well, but I mean, like, that that's the thing, though, is that neither of us can ever prove one or the other. Neither of us can ever prove one or the other. Once again, scientific consensus shows animals to be sentient, so arguing this leads to a dangerous path. Just sort of doesn't seem right to me. Well, it doesn't seem right to me that I can't eat delicious cheeseburgers. I mean, I understand what you're saying. But the problem with both these methods is that they do require some knowledge about nutrition and animal behavior. And if you don't have that knowledge, don't worry. There's another way you can beat vegans in debates, and that's by maintaining an absolutely ridiculous position, aka intellectual dishonesty. All right, so what do you think about what the tomatoes have to go through? What do the tomatoes have to go through? So have you, have you seen like a packed tomato farm? I have seen a tomato farm. I've seen videos of people tomato farming as well. So this study came out where people were saying that tomatoes scream. The tomato plants scream when they're picked from their stems. In reality, the tomatoes release some gas uh, when they're picked. Really all we discovered was that plants will release certain popping sounds due to what they believe is cavitation, which is basically the releasing of gas. So much like bacteria also emit right. frequencies, so do plants as well. But it doesn't mean that they suffer off bill pain. When someone's being intellectually dishonest, your first step should be to clarify their position. Are you comparing tomato farming to slaughtering animals? Well, you're slaughtering the tomato. I mean, what's okay. the difference? Do you think there's a difference between a tomato and an animal? Not really. Intellectual dishonesty is the advocacy of a position known to be false. Are humans animals? What's that? Are humans animals? Yeah. Sure. But you just said animals are the same as tomatoes, so by your logic, now humans are tomatoes? Yes. So I could eat a human and it would be the same as eating a tomato? Yeah. If they were, like, in a processing factory and did all that sort of thing and we allowed that stuff to happen, sure. If they continue to double down, you can try to trap them using their own logic. When I watch the movie Alive, which we've all seen. I haven't right? seen it. You've never seen Alive? No. You gotta get out there and watch that. I'm not gonna lie. So if you are like destitute in a Andes Mountains oh, and you're cold. Yeah. And then sure. the last thing left to eat is like, for example, this amazing, sexy individual over here. Oh, I'd eat him in a second. I would too, <laughs> exactly. Yo, Me too. So that, that actually brings up a good point, which is necessity, right? So in that situation, we would have to eat someone to survive. I think it could be morally justified, but that doesn't justify me eating him right now when I don't have to, correct? Correct. But so what? Well, you uh, said eating him was like eating a tomato, so I would justify it. Sorry, so but you, what you, my point being is, is you're saying that the tomato also, I think also, creates, you know, good living things for the world is morally justified than to eat. A lot of people think vegans just don't want to eat anything living. That's a fundamental misunderstanding of veganism because we're concerned with sentience. Do you know the word sentient? I do not. Yeah, so sentient means like a subjective experience, the ability to feel pain, to suffer, to be an individual in this world. So humans are sentient. Animals are also sentient. That's proven by science. Tomatoes are not sentient. But let's say plants were sentient. It actually takes more plants to feed to animals to then eat the animals than if we ate the plants directly. So it would still be better in terms of plant deaths to be vegan. Does that make sense? So you're saying by eating a cow, I'm killing more plants than by eating plants? Yes, because of uh, trophic levels. I mean, think about the uh, so the lion over in Africa, right? Yeah, going out there and they're gonna jump out and kind of mess up the giraffe. Well, right, but yeah, you know, yeah, is, yeah. Is, is that right? Do I like to watch it when I watch on Animal Planet? No, I can't. Why don't you like to watch it if it's the same as eating a tomato? What's up? Why do I not like to watch it? Yeah. I, I don't really like to watch people eat tomatoes either. <laughs> this one's for you, Steve. <sighs> so the kind of argument like animals do it, therefore we can do it. I, I think that's what you're hinting at. A animals do a lot of things we wouldn't do. You know, they eat their babies. 
they rape each other, although you would say that eating their babies is fine because you're kind of fine with cannibalism. <laughs> sure. So it sounds like you just think anything in the world goes. Yeah, that's probably a very solid summonization. Of yeah. Me. yeah. Always call out dishonest behavior. I feel like you're being intellectually dishonest, maybe. Like, I'm not sure if you actually believe that tomatoes and animals are the same and the same as humans. Well, um, they're the same, but I still believe in the fact that, you know, okay, guess what? There's not much difference in eating one or the other. That's the point. Mm, even though there's decades of science and evidence that animals are sentient and plants are not, you don't think that that's true? or Because... We believe that animals have a little bit more feeling than other. I, I, yeah. I guess I'm trying to. Uh, yeah. Okay, I struggle with that a little bit, but okay, so yeah, so some things have a little bit more feelings than others, right? You know, feelings get hurt. I've got hurt feelings. I've got hurt feelings. Steve said here you can eat tomatoes, you can eat humans, and you can eat animals, correct? That is correct. And your babies. And your babies. When someone just won't budge, it's time to end the conversation. Set a boundary and get the hell out of there. All right. Uh, do you have any other questions for me? I don't know. What else do you want to know? I don't know. I don't know where else we can go. If you said that they're all equal and you can eat any of them, then there's not really anywhere else for me to go from here. I'm more interested in talking to people who recognize the value in animals and, uh, you know, chatting with them. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it works. Appreciate it, Steve. All right, love you a long time. If you enjoyed this and want to help me do activism full-time while getting exclusive content, join my Patreon today. Special thanks to my morally superior patrons, Amy and Andy. 